Here it is for you now. We understand there were 54 people, including the driver, on the bus. And sadly, I can confirm that the driver and a 14-year-old school girl have died. Two children were taken from the scene to Alderhey Children's Hospital. Fifty other children were taken to an emergency training centre where they were medically assessed, and eight of those children have been taken to the County of Chester and Arrow Park hospitals. Our thoughts and condolences are very much with their families and friends at this tragic time. Family liaison officers are providing special support to both families, and we are working with the schools, Will Council, and Chester West Council to ensure the necessary trauma support is in place for the children on the bus. We also know that other children from both schools were on buses travelling in convoy with the bus involved in the incident and they witnessed the incident and they too will be provided with specialist trauma support. The motorway is expected to be closed for a number of hours whilst investigative work is carried out and we would like to thank motorists for their patience while the investigation is ongoing. Diversions are in place and we encourage people where possible to take alternative routes. I would also like to remind people that there is an investigation ongoing and would ask people to refrain from posting anything on social media that could hamper the investigation and not to speculate. I will now hand you over to Mark Thomas, the area manager for Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service. Good afternoon. I can confirm that to date Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service attended the incident Graham describes on the M53 northbound carriageway. We mobilised two appliances from local station and our search and rescue team to report of a school bus which had overturned. Firefighters worked with emergency services colleagues at scene to stabilise the vehicle. We ensured the scene was safe and we assisted the casualties exiting the bus. Working jointly with our police and ambulance colleagues, Shortly after, we were able to assist the casualties onto a second coach to receive care away from the scene. Our operations are currently scaling down and currently we stay at the scene in attendance to preserve the scene with Merseyside Police whilst an investigation is conducted. The thoughts of everyone at Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service are with the friends, the colleagues and the families of all of those involved in this terrible incident. Good afternoon, I am Joanne Clegg, Area Director for the North West Ambulance Service. Firstly, I would like to pass on our condolences to all those involved in this incident. Following reports of a crash involving a coach this morning, we declared a major incident. This was due to the potential number of casualties involved. As a result, we sent a substantial number of ambulances, senior clinicians and our hazardous area response teams. A critical care doctor was also dispatched to the, to the scene. Tragically, we can confirm that there were two fatalities as a result of this crash. A further two patients were taken to Alder Hay Children's Hospital with serious injuries. In addition, we have taken a number of patients to surrounding hospitals to be treated for minor injuries. 50 children were transported to a casualty clearing centre at the Emergency Service Training Centre in Wallasey. Of those 50, 39 have now been discharged. The remainder have been taken to hospital for further treatment. Assessments have taken place by our clinicians at the Emergency Service Centre and patients there are being discharged, as I say, into the care of their parents and a small number taken to hospital for further treatment. I would like to thank our Emergency Services colleagues for their support in ensuring that the scene was safe so we were able to identify the most seriously injured while safeguarding all those involved in this incident. Again. I would like to express my, con my sincere condolences to the family and friends of those affected. Thank you. Good afternoon. Simone White, Director of Children, Families and Education from Wilbury Council. I would very much like to start again by offering my sincerest condolences to everybody affected. 
by this tragic incident today. Council staff are working closely with the schools and have been doing so since they were informed of the incident this morning. I'm sure everybody will understand that at the moment our focus and the focus of the schools is in supporting the pupils, families and wider school community who will have all have been affected by this incident. As the council we will continue to work with other local areas and all those who are affected as we wish to provide support and assistance as needed to the families who have been involved in this. We are supporting the emergency services and will continue to respond to this incident and will do whatever we need to do over time to help. Again, can I stress our deep sadness at the tragic loss and the impact on the families, friends, pupils and schools out there. Thank you. So that is the emergency team at Birkenhead Town Hall uh, giving us the update on this uh, crash with the uh, awful news that a 14-year-old uh, schoolgirl and the coach driver have died after this crash with the bus overturning on the M53 at about 8 o'clock uh, this morning. Uh, Detective Chief, Chief Superintendent rather, Graham Robson uh, indicating that other children uh, on the buses had witnessed the incident. They were travelling in convoy. Uh, in terms of the details from Joanne Clegg from the Northwest Ambulance Service, uh, the 14 year old schoolgirl dying with the coach driver, but two other children taken to Alderhay with serious injuries. Uh, and then, in addition to that, Graham Robson indicating eight. Uh, had been taken with injuries to the Countess of Chester and Arrow Park hospitals. Um, in terms of the, the, the 50 casualties overall, 39 were then discharged, uh, Joanne said, um, with uh, treatment being offered before they were returned to their parents um, with minor injuries, but 11 still being treated. Uh, and clearly, as a result uh, of this awful uh, incident, uh, Graham Robson saying special family liaison officer uh, and trauma support staff were helping those families involved in this. Uh, these pictures are showing the coach there on its side. Just to remind you, the re reports initially were that the coach was involved uh, in a collision with a car near the central reservation of the motorway, but clearly police indicating those investigations are still continuing with the motorway still closed uh, as these officers try to establish the details. Um, but certainly it seems that this was the convoy of school buses um, on their way to called a Grange Grammar School, West Kirby Girls Grammar School as well. Um, the first report suggesting that one uh, female in a car uh, had been taken to hospital with major trauma injuries, um, but uh, no details on that at this news conference, um, just the coach driver and this uh, schoolgirl. But clearly the scale of the emergency response indicates um, how bad the... Uh, the collision was in that we had two air ambulances, um, many uh, fire and rescue service vehicles as well as we heard there uh, from Mark Thomas from Merseyside Fire and Rescue um, and indeed these medical teams and including, said Joanne Clegg, a critical care doctor. But despite their uh, heroic efforts at the scene, two fatalities um, and the 50 other casualties then taken to uh, an ambulance training centre at Wallasey nearby uh, where a triage centre I think effectively was set up. 39 of those have been uh, discharged uh, but clearly uh, we have some 11 others uh, eight, we believe, at the Countess of Chester and Harrow Park hospitals and two seriously injured at Alderhay, the Children's Hospital uh, in Liverpool.